what I wanted to talk about today was uh, how the most important thing that you guys are going to have is in your business is actually the people. I would definitely encourage you if you have business cards or if you have a brochure or whatever, you know, feel, you know, exchange your information with each other because you'll be surprised. The time will go by and maybe you'll see each other some other time and then you'll be doing business with each other. Why people, you know, sometimes they don't market their own business better is not because they don't have money for marketing materials. And it's just because they forget the basics and they forget about the actual people. So you're working, working, working and doing, doing, doing and you forget to check you know, with the people that not only the ones that you're serving, but the ones that help you open up your business, your potential clients, your suppliers, the people that you would buy your stones to create your jewelry or your materials or your cleaning supplies or, you know, or the people that would help you find a location. And till this day, the best marketing tool is word of mouth. There's no doubt about it. We cannot and should not compete with bigger companies that have been here forever, but that's what makes us special. And I think that it's the people that we know, and coming from Latin American country myself, I feel that people is so important, like your family is so important. So imagine creating a business family. So that's the support that you're gonna get, you know, in the future. If you would need money, your family can help you out. If you are, you know, if you need some advice or, you know, your family can help you out. So it's the same thing. Uh, you have to learn how to trust people and you have to learn how to, you know, make sure that you're grateful for them, you know, being around. Um, I'm going to, I made some notes in my, in my slides, but I'll, so I'll take a moment to read them because I don't remember everything. But uh, I want you to start thinking about... Um, like if you had a problem in your business right now, who would be the first person that you would call and that you would know that they would help you? I didn't get a question. Sorry. If you had like a problem in your business right now and needed something, who would be the first person that you would call and that you know that they would help you? I mean, do you have somebody like that, you know, that supports your business? Or when was the last time that you got some feedback from one of your customers and you actually made an improvement in your business? Or um, if, when was the last time that you checked in with somebody that helped you open up your own business? Uh, and where are they doing, what are they doing now? Um, you know, just, so just keep those things in mind and, you know, and maybe after the presentation, you know, you'll realize that, um, that maybe you need to make some calls <laughs> or send some emails, whatever. Um, so what is marketing? According to me, Marketing is the action which makes everyone that is part of your business happy. And everyone is happy if they perceive some value. Um, what does this mean? One, that is an action. You're going to have to do something to market your business. You know, sometimes clients do come in by themselves, which would be great. But um, even if somebody comes in from a reference, if you have a client and they <coughs> refer to another client, customer to you, you did something to get that client. You know, you made sure that your, your client was well served, so, you know, that person, you know, recommended somebody else to you. So, it's something that you have to do. And then, for people to perceive some value, the value doesn't have to be financial. The value can be emotional, the value can be social. Um, Sometimes I get a service that might be a little bit more expensive than their competition, but it's the way that they treat me that keeps me coming, for instance. So it doesn't have to be based all in money. And right now with the economy, it's the perfect time to actually stop thinking about money. Um, because there's more to it than that, you know. If you go back to the day that you open up your own business, obviously you needed to get some money. But I'm hoping that you did it because you knew that you could be good at it and you knew that you might like doing it at least every day or that you would be okay doing it. And at that point, you were not earning any money yet, but you still had what it took to work and, you know, and, 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 and keep trying to make it happen. So you still have to have that right now. Um, 
so who is part of your business? I said to my sister once, ah, it's been really hard for me being alone here. All my family is in Guatemala. I had to do everything by myself. I opened up my business by myself. And it's because of me that I have a business. And then she said to me, no, you didn't do it alone. And I'm like, yes, I did. <laughs> and she's like, no, you know, probably somebody had to support you. Somebody had to help you. Um, and then I started thinking, you know. So who is part of your business? It turns out that everybody that you want them to be part of your business is your business. Um, you know the saying of, uh, it's not of your business? But you can make them be their business. If you, know, if you reach out to people and provide some value uh, and try to feel a mutual beneficial relationship, your business is their business and their business is going to be your business. So if you follow through, the people that could be part of your business are suppliers or customers and employees. Sorry, it's in the other, it's in the third slide. This and neighbors, family and friends, um, organizations like this one, parents of the kids, you know, that you might have at your daycare, people who you have worked in the past. All these people are either your potential clients or their potential partners or people that can help you out at some point or people that you can help out. So it's very important to keep in mind that, um, that all the people that you interact with might just come handy. Um, if you turn the slide again, I'm trying to bring you back to the basics and just telling you that business success equals people. It's just as easy as that. Um, the computers, I'm sure that you've all heard about, if you haven't, it's social media marketing or, you know, Facebook or, you know, all those websites and um, Twitter and whatnot. And people, and more in America, I feel that they're trying to, you know, create this world of friends and computers and, and it works. I have to tell you, that's where the world is going. It works. But by the end of the day, people buy from people and people sell to people. That is just the way it is. And there is, <laughs> you know, there's a little smiley, well, there's a little baby that's saying, did you smile today? And one of my problems was that I was working from home and I became really cranky. And um, I have kids and a husband and I was just really cranky all the time. I forgot, you know, to greet, you know, my customers. I forgot to, I was just like, let's get it done, you know, I need the money or, you know, let's just get it done. And, uh, and I forgot what made me happy. And my business, which was my dream, became this bag of stuff that I didn't want to carry. And it was pretty bad. And so then I realized that if, if I made people feel good, and provide value, not only with my business, um, then they will come back. I have, a, I have a lady who owns a cleaning company and she helps me clean my house. And I say helps me because since I work from home, when she comes cleaning, I have to clean with her. <laughs> I just, you know, I think it's like my break. And she helps me clean my house and I'm not kidding. Um, we talk, she could be my therapist. You know, the value that she provides me is way beyond cleaning my house. And, and she said to me, you know, I'm losing some clients. I'm starting to offer my services a little bit less expensive, you know, to get people, you know, keep coming. And I said to her, and I, not that I had the money, but I said to her, it's okay, I'll continue paying what I pay. Just because I realized how important she was to me, not her business, but herself. And so then you raise it, you, it becomes something different. You know, it's not about what you're selling, but the way that you're selling it that makes you who you are. But right now is the time for you to reach out to people, for you to start making some new relationships. 
that are going to make your business survive and thrive and for you to actually start offering something that's mutual benefit. Um,